it's another urban beekeeping video and it's been three days since I installed the packages so I need to retrieve the queen cage and check the sugar water and just see what's going on in here. You can see I've got lots of activity on both hives. We'll come in for a close up on this one. And so this is only the second time I've really interacted with them so I'm going to put my bee suit on. So I've got on my bee suit, I've got my gloves, my hive tool, and my lady friends. So let me get the camera set up. I could tell you that I was the most experienced beekeeper and I knew exactly what I was doing, but the truth of the matter is I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I'm just going to open the hive and look. If they get a little cranky, I'm going to smoke them, but I'm going to try not to smoke them the first time. Okay. Lots of activity. That's a good thing. Nice and slow and confident. About a third of the sugar water is gone. They're clearly eating the patty. Now, the challenge is I need to get in here because the queen cage is at the bottom. So... Yeah, I'm going to smoke them down because they're getting a little cranky with me. got to be a better way to do this but I haven't figured out what it is yet oh, and that's beautiful they're already drawing comb they're drawing lots of comb okay so I'm just going to set these guys down. And I've got to pull one more frame out to be able to get my fat hands down in there. I think I should have pulled the frame on the end, but you know, it doesn't matter. I've got a little bit of drawn comb here on the center so they're definitely and you can see they're storing some nectar or honey that's what the little brown stuff is in there I'm just looking to make sure my queen's not in here and quite frankly I don't know exactly what she would look like so I'm being really cautious and careful oh but she shouldn't have her head in a cell so I don't think that's her Okay, so the queen is not present in the cage. I'm going to just put stuff back together. As gently and nicely as I can. Might have just crushed a bee, but I don't think so.
Yep, this all looks pretty good. A couple of drowned bees in the in the sugar water, but they're eating the sugar water, they're eating the pollen patty. So this is looking healthy. Unfortunately, I don't have a real telescoping cover. You know, I'm gonna smoke them down before I do that. I wanna reduce the odds of crushing bees. I feel like I was a little bit aggressive with my smoke, but I'm just trying not to crush bees when I put the cover back on. Mm. Alright, I think I did it this time. I'm getting buzzed a little bit, so I'm gonna go more smoke. <laughs> I'm gonna open the second hive, and this one has a proper cover, and I've ordered a cover for the other one, but it, it just hasn't come in yet. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the inner or the telescoping cover off. A little bit of bee activity, pretty normal. I'm gonna extract the bees that weren't so lucky when I put the hive together. Sorry, ladies. So now we're gonna pull this off. kind of set myself up for failure here because I put my pollen patty in the corner and I need to pull center frames so there's not a nice way for me to do this other than to pull a center frame piss the girls off but we're drawing lots of good comb and I don't see the queen in here So this is looking good. going on in here 
in here. So this is looking really good. sugar water missing and my workers that are coming back. A little bit of fanning activity going on here. Overall, they're pretty pretty calm. They didn't uh, really get nasty with me, but I still think I'm going to continue to wear my um, bee suit for the first little bit. <laughs> 